training hall episode. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, one of our four pillars. Everybody who's out there working with the Learners in Exile is working with Shicho, our Form 1, uh, Formula 1, whatever you want to call it, and uh, where it kind of fits in everything and what the whole idea is. And as we get into the uh, Form 5 stuff in the Shen, this is going to come up. So, one of the major, oh, and also uh, helping me out today is Chris here, um, one of the guys coming over to uh, class on Wednesdays. So, uh, thank you, Chris. Anyway, so uh, yes, Shicho, uh, one of the major ideas uh, about it is um, that it's kind of relentlessly pushing forward, right? And we're looking to clear obstructions from our path or somehow get through them, right? So that's the major idea. When we're talking about like kind of the training, most of the techniques that we do in the Dulan and, and the drills and stuff like that come from kind of military type of stuff, where the idea is not so much dueling back and forth, but more or less kind of breaking through lines and, and being in formation and then trying to break down the other person's defenses and push them back and such like that. So these kind of, that's where those concepts come from. Um, however, they do, they are used in one-on-one -on -one dueling, single combat. So uh, we'll kind of go through a couple of them here. So, uh, if I, I'll just put on that. Okay, so, basic Shicho idea of clearing, okay? We have our three strikes, we have our three steps, we have all of that kind of stuff, and we're going to now apply them for a specific purpose. When we're doing single combat, we're going to imagine that the barrier here is our blade, or is our opponent's blade. So we want to uh, remove that obstruction first of all. Now. A lot of people, when we start out, will, will, will try to favor middle guard here. If somebody is favoring middle guard, it's a pretty simple matter to use the Shicho formula to kind of break it down. And if we go here, we're going to get them to react simply by hitting it that way. Okay? So what I can do is literally just move it out of the line. Right? And that's our Sun Jam Sai Cha. Okay? Is up here. I just go here and over that way. Okay? So, what you really want to do is you want to be able to switch guards. Okay? So, <clears throat> one thing that often comes up is if somebody assumes high guard, what's the best position to, uh, to, to assume in, in response? And often, it's low guard here, if we're using the Shisho formula here. And what I'm going to try to do is wait for him to start the strike and intercept it, right? Probably from underneath here. Now, I can also, from here, as it comes down, block up, right, and come around with a tap the temples kind of thing, right? And I can go to either side as, 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 easy, as easily as anything else, okay? So that's just the basic concept. Obviously, it's not going to necessarily look as clean, but the concept is, is still kind of there, okay? Now, um, because high guard is a very dominant position, right? So when he's in high guard, it limits me on how far I can come in here, okay? Now, this is a good uh, opportunity to use... Um, oops, excuse me. To use Jedi guard like this. Okay, because here I can kind of affect a whole lot. All right, so in there he comes down. I can intercept the hands there by coming over to the side. All right, I can come up and then remove it that way and come around. Okay, so that's just that's yet yet another way. All of this being um, integral to the clearing idea. If he is down low, right, I have to worry about these hands, right, but I still may want to 
to, to assume this. And that's only if I'm in here and he goes into that. Right. So if I'm starting in the middle and he goes down to low, I can come up here. It's absolutely, totally okay to match him. Low to low is actually a pretty strong thing. When I go here, though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to lift this up, right? So here, instead of pushing it down before, I'm coming in here, and I'm going to lift it up like this. Once I'm up here, I can come down, around, right? Or just push through, right? If he responds with the shicho, right, as I lift up, he'll go around the head like in, so here, come down, down to low guard, right? When I lift up, right, he goes around that, okay? If he does that to me, like this, you see, I can come this way. Now, as he swings in this way, I am inside his range here. I can easily come down that way there. But again, the idea being, I have to move this out of the way to clear my path, right? Also, if they're coming in, I want to be able to not meet the, uh, the attack straight on, right? So anything that he comes to me, right, I'm going to go off to one side. Let's uh, move kind of this way so you can see it here, right? Okay, so... Right, and then, okay, the further I get off the line, the better, right? It'll open me up for more things. He comes with an overhead strike. Ah, he got me. Okay. Here, and right across there. If I go the other way, you see, as I am... I'm almost an arm's length from his, from his thing there. Okay, so, there you have it. The idea with Shicho is that we are clearing obstructions. We're getting them out of the way so that we can come in, we can either score a hit, you know, or in our, in, you know, in the, you know, kind of milieu fantasy, fantasy realm, we're breaking through lines of, of, uh, of soldiers or battlements or whatever you want to call them. Um, and moving forward, hence the term uh, determination form. And uh, that's kind of what we're going with right now. So, anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please put it down in the uh, in, uh, below. And uh, join us on Facebook for uh, the Learners in Exile program if you'd like, and just and like the page to keep up on all the uh, all the updates. Um, other than that, thank you, Chris, for helping me. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great. Great day and happy savoring.